Dallas, Texas, home of the YouTubers and the location of the 10th annual Vid Summit convention. In this video, I will be spending the next 100 hours there documenting the craziest moments of my life, like meeting my online friends, <laughs> pulling pranks, <laughs> and wait. Is that us at Dude Perfect headquarters? Yeah, we might have snuck in there. But to find out how, you're gonna need to watch the whole video. And trust me, it's worth it. So without further ado, let's get into the vlog. Before I knew it, I was at the airport. This is me waiting at the airport. It was not fun. But then we took off and that was awesome. And then we landed. That was awesomer. And then I met with Smiley and Planet. Uh, gentlemen, we have made it to the Airbnb. The funny part is, is that we actually didn't make it to the hotel. We were in the wrong one and we didn't know. So we had to get a lift to the other one. And that was sketchy because this maintenance guy just pulled up and gave us a ride in his white van. Okay, I don't know why we got on here, but we were sleep deprived. But eventually, thank God, we did make it to the hotel. Let's go. 203, room 203. We get abducted in a random white van of someone we didn't know. Were you guys sketched out at all? Uh, no, I was just making jokes. Bro, dead ass? I you was think, sketched. Bro, you think you're just gonna take the <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was gonna steal us, bro. I thought this was yeah, life steal, bro. He was gonna take our hearts. Shortly after we got settled into my hotel room, we all just kind of chilled there and waited for Bacon Spoke and yeah, Jaren to arrive. Which gives me a chance to explain our living situation. In room one, we got me, Smiley, and Planet. And in room two, we have Bacon Spoke and Jaren. And I'll just call our group the Hotel Warriors. When Bacon's group got to the hotel, we were all really hungry so we decided to get some McDonald's <laughs> when we got the McDonald's, I had a really funny idea once we got to the hotel room. Last time they hung out, Spoke set off all of Planet's phone alarms each hour in the middle of the night, and he got really mad. So I kind of egged him on to do that again. I'm gonna do it about that's why I handed you the phone. Bomb has been planted. Yeah, they were pretty mad. The best part about that is I was already planning on waking up early because I've been waking up 6 a.m. every single day for my morning routine. And I get to show you guys what it is. I started with a simple 20 minute meditation after waking up and then I made my bed. And because Smiley and Planet were still asleep, I went downstairs and ate some breakfast. I'm not sure if free hotel breakfast makes it taste better, but um, hey, I was loving that. I didn't spend a dime. After that, I grabbed some coffee and went outside to egg exercise and I started with a quick run then I did some workouts and then I went to the pool to swim some laps I just realized I had my ear pod in <laughs> I'm so fucking stupid I just got done with my entire morning workout um also bro check this shit out that's the convention center right there can't go there yet I gotta wake everyone up they're all still snoozing bro it's like a banger way to start the day there's a bit summit. Yeah, I don't know about you, but that thing looks freaking insane. That's the convention center, and keep in mind, we're going inside that later. However, as cool as it looked, getting there would be a different story. We are currently trying to get the <laughs> mid summit all the way over there, but there's no sidewalk. So we have to take this long ass way around. No way, this is the way to get to the convention center. Hey guys, this doesn't look like Vid Summit. Hey guys, where do I where do I register? Where is everybody? Eventually, we did end up figuring it out, and we took this time to scope out the area because we were here for a week after all. After that, we ended up having more time to kill, so we met up with the Outcast group. It was really cool seeing my friends Wenzo, Miles, and Loki Jude, but I also got to meet a couple new people like Spyfy, Chief Guy, Bunny Muffin, and Buzzy. Because most of them are British, we decided to play some soccer. <coughs> I'm sorry, football, football. We decided to play some indoor football and it was really fun. At this point, it was getting really close to the first night at Vid Summit, opening night. And we decided to go get some food with some friends. And that's where I'd meet people like Mog Swamp, One Ba, Polly Mars, Yikes, and this guy named King Samalot. And if you've been paying attention to my channel, I've been streaming with this guy a lot, okay? We're good friends and this is how we met. How cool is that? King Samalot, yes sir, in the vlog of Dill Pickles. This can go crazy. And judging by the change the scenery you can probably tell it's the opening night of vid summit this night was crazy i met everyone they were blasting music and it was like a rooftop party it was insane if they bad this shit calm down up real life yeah. if you don't pop it, like, yeah, guys, we're, we're in tilted towers are we in tilted we're in tilted no i'm not 
Yeah, he said it. You heard that. You heard that. Sup, guys? It's cheap here. Yeah. You better, he, you I can't swear see to God. His face. You can't see his face. Hey, guys. Oh, this planet lord. Yeah. No, there's like a 0% chance this makes it in the world. I bet you can't hear me right now. Call him. No, I'm kidding. Are you like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't pick a major guy. There's a sea lantern. There's a sea lantern. We're going to see Minute Tech. After we met everyone there, we decided to go over to Minute Tech's Airbnb because he was holding a house party there. No, we're headed to an Airbnb. Minutes. We're all headed there, like at least 15 of us. We're going swimming. This is gonna be epic. That group consists of Minitech, AJ the Bold, Lucky Mix, Dr. Donut, Seawalk Gaming, Luigi Tone, and the respective editors. I didn't film much, but I gotta say, this party was actually better than the Vid Summit one. Everyone was there, and that was kind of a problem because we got the cops called on us for noise complaints, Bruh. but it was okay because I got to meet Skeppy, Grox MC, and a bunch of other huge people. So I'm editing my vlog right now, and I was like low key sad because uh, I didn't have any Skeppy. Epi footage. I had a lot of good conversations with him and I met him. He's pretty cool. But I, I was too scared to ask him if I can record him because reasons. And I was like sad. I'm like, no, I don't have any proof I met Skeppy. But out of the corner of my eye, I just see him chilling over here. <laughs> it's the next day. I'm here with Planet. AJ the Bold and Minitech, bro. W hosts, bro. I, I'm not sure if you can hear me because of the wind, but those two are W hosts. They were so nice. Yeah, honestly. If you're seeing this, guys, thanks for having us. We had a blast. Now we're gonna go meet up with Chief Guy, Wenzo, Miles. Uh, Jude and a bunch of other guys, Buzzy. We're gonna go watch some talks at Vid Summit. The next day of Vid Summit was even crazier. For the past month, I've been doing this bit on Twitter where I make the most horrendous faces and call it my thumbnail slash model face. And it's recently gained a lot of traction during my stay at Dallas to the point where people with millions of subs and followers were just asking to take selfies with them. Hey guys, I'm with, I'm with some creators. What's up? It's Yo! Yo, Joe Pickle. Right now. I'm here with G bitch. Yo. J Smack. Let's get it. Look at Beast Trigger. Yo, Yo Beast Trigger. Huge, Huge fan. Just kidding, it's bacon. After that, we took a short intermission from talk, so we decided to go up to the convention floor and get a lot of merch. And by that, I mean I was covered head to toe. I'm actually the merchant. They call me Dill Dripple. So we start with the brim. We got the sunglasses, got this even, the shirt, boom, 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 and then we got more drip inside the drip. If we open this here, got more drip, and no. then the rest is my stuff, bro, the drip, <laughs> and more drip. After that, it was getting kind of late, so we decided to grab some dinner, this time with Minitech and AJ the Bold's group. I think it's kind of ironic how we ate at Texas Roadhouse in Texas. When we were done eating, we decided to go back to Minitech and AJ the Bold's Airbnb. So we hopped in the car, and after about 20 minutes of driving, AJ said, look out the window, and we saw this. Bro, what's this, bro? Dude, perfect? I was in utter shock at this moment. We weren't going to Minitech's Airbnb. We were going to the freaking Dude Perfect headquarters. Now, I ain't no snitch, so I'm not gonna say who, but somebody's editor apparently snuck onto a random VIP party bus from Vin summit and they just took up the dude perfect land so we hopped out the whip and went through the bag and i'm not gonna lie when i went in there i thought i was dreaming or something bruh like literally everyone i watched on youtube was in that building bruh like even the person who took our picture at the overtime desk was someone i watched and you already know i was having a great time i was spinning the wheel no, I, got a 750. I shot some hoops and this one was first try i don't even play basketball which means i think i should just be in dude perfect at this point after a while it was getting late so we decided to run back to our car in the pouring rain and head back to Minitech's Airbnb. And this is when we saw another opportunity. The Creator Mixer. An extremely exclusive party held by cash that only the top YouTubers can get into. This would definitely end our last night in Dallas together with a bang. And on top of that, it's held on top of the roof of a skyscraper. I think that my top dude perfect. We need to get in. And a couple of us like Bacon Waffles and Spoke did get in within like seconds. However, small creators like me and smiley would probably have to wait which brings us to the last day of vid summit and i can't lie i was thinking about this creator mixer thing all day so to combat my new hyper fixation i decided to hang out with some more friends do a push-up contest steal and oh yeah i even had enough time to address the elephant in the room if you didn't know 100 percent of my videos are all fake they're all scripted so yeah real quick hey guys thank you so much for showing up to the set like, uh, yeah. you guys are doing great. Thank yeah, you so much. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to give you a raise for acting soon. Thank you so much. Yeah, you guys are doing great. Thank you. All right. 
Catch you guys later. I'll see you and on the set later. And after thanking yeah, my yeah. real actors that I definitely pay, I got summoned by my friend Bacon Waffles to be in one of his streams. Say hi to the vlog real quick, chat. Everyone say hi. Yeah. And that's when I met this other dude from Lifesteal named Branzy. And we decided to have a rap battle on the stream. Naked, no beat. I'm here with Branzy. Uh, he's looking kind of fancy. Uh, hot in Dallas. You need to fan me. Oh! All right, do you want me to get a topic to rap about, or do you just have it off the dome? No, 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 I got this. Okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, shoot! Oh, shoot! Oh, shoot. oh, he's, oh, rap oh he's, he's a rapper! He's rapping! <laughs> oh, he's, he's rapping! <laughs> oh, he's rapping. <laughs> oh, no way. He might be the number one rapper. And after all that, me and Smiley still haven't gotten into the creator mixer yet. However, we had a genius idea when we went into this pizza place. Well, actually, it was a pretty stupid idea, but it was the only shot we had. So we decided to re-RSVP under some of our friends' names who have more clout than us. So Smiley took the name Maypick, and I took the name Rochambeau Game. And miraculously, it worked for Smiley. For some reason, they just don't like Rochambeau Games. Rochambeau, if you're seeing this, I'm sorry, but I guess they don't like you. So unfortunately, I did have to rebrand. So now my name is Radunes. And can someone please tell me how the heck did this work? Like, they must have only been paying attention to the names or something because my dumbass forgot to unlink my Twitter account. And literally, you're able to tell it's me. If you scroll to Radunes and click the Twitter thing, it goes to Dill Pickle, bruh. But I'm not complaining, bruh. They let me in. Let's go. Everything seemed like it was going according to plan and working perfectly. However, seconds later, we'd all receive an email at the same time saying that the organizers overbooked. Hmm, I wonder how that could have happened. This means that it would be first come, first served, and we would have to get there fast. But to our misfortune, the Uber would have taken too long, so we had to take the train. And by the time we got there, the line was too full, and nobody was able to get in. Not even my boy Preston played. Everyone was pretty upset that we didn't get into the creator mixer. However, I realized that we didn't even need to get into the creator mixer. Everyone who was there, I already met. Not to mention, I was already with all my best friends. And that's literally the only reason why I'm here. My cup is full. I, I don't need to go to some party. And when I brought that up, I feel like everyone realized the same thing. So instead, to kick off our last night in Dallas, we decided to go get some nice dinner and just talk at the table as friends. And I'm not sure if anyone else felt this way, but I'm so glad we did. It just felt right to end the trip this way. And we enjoyed our nice dinner and had a great conversation about YouTube, video ideas, and just all sorts of stuff. And I'm so grateful to just have such a nice experience with my friends. By the time we were done with our dinner, we got a text from Minute Text saying that him and his gang left the party and were headed back to Airbnb. So we decided to join them and play some Jackbox. And this was literally the funniest game of Jackbox ever. But we decided to put a twist on it. Whoever got last place would have to jump into the ice cold pool. And boy, do I hate agreeing to this. No! Even though it was freezing, that was probably one of the best ways to end the trip. In the morning, everyone would part ways and fly back to their own house. However, all the memories I made on this trip would probably stay with me forever. I'm super grateful for everyone I met on this trip, especially the hotel group for being so inclusive and nice to me, AJ and Minutes group for being awesome hospitality, the Outcast group, and even people I just met from Vid Summit like King Samalot, Yikes, and Polly Mars. And finally, you for making it to the end of this video. Hope to see you all again soon.